interesting finishes. Do you uh, still think yeah. Durant is the best player on the planet? I do not. <laughs> wow. What do I always tell you? I evaluate greatness from night to night to night. I'm all about what have you done for me lately, or as you say, you've got to update your resume yeah, yeah. game after game. Yeah. I covered the great Michael Jordan, and trust me, night after night after night after night, he just got greater and greater and greater. So in this case, after what I have seen the last two games, and especially, as Jenny points out, in the last two fourth quarters, I can no longer call Kevin Durant the best player on the planet because I can only call him Kevin Ducant. That's what he's been, <laughs> Kevin Ducant in the last two fourth quarters. And I cannot and will not even remotely try to defend him because he has been incomprehensibly incapable of taking over the games that they desperately need him to take over. Mm -hmm. These are the money games. This is what matters. This is what counts. The regular season is fine. The Spurs in the first round is fine. He dominated the Spurs. The little Pelicans, the baby Pelicans, whatever. I, I know they got a lot of talent, but Kevin Durant dominated them in round two. For that matter, he dominated these Rockets in game one of this round. Dominated him in 30, game two, too. Also. Uh, he had 38 yeah, in game but, two. Yeah, I, I, it was a little shaky, but he had 37 and 38. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll even give you that. Okay. But I'm saying the last two games, Kevin Durant, where are you and who are you? What happened to the reigning finals MVP who against LeBron James went for 35, 8, and 5 in five games and shot 47% from the three-point line in the NBA finals? That's incomprehensibly great to me. Mm -hmm. So all I can give him now is he leads the playoffs in free throw shooting. You know and I know he is a deadly free throw shooter. He's 93%. He's made 94 of 101. That's hard to do. LeBron James now at 73%, so you're going to lose another case of Diet Mountain Dew on that because you said 80 or better. So that's pretty much over. But otherwise, this, this guy named Kevin Durant that I used to love He's getting dominated and bullied and pushed around and beat up by much smaller players named P.J. Tucker and Trevor Ariza and Eric Gordon and even CP3 at six feet tall. They give Chris Paul six feet. I don't even think he's six feet yeah. tall. And he has been defending Kevin Durant. Yep. As you say, he's just been rooting him out of the post. He's been bodying him up. He's been bullying Kevin Durant <laughs> at seven feet tall with like an eight-foot wingspan. Yeah! And Kevin Durant never the arms longer than Chris Paul is tall. You know what? I think that Chris could Paul, that get him out the post. That, that might not be an exaggeration. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure they might be. We should do that measurement sometime. <laughs> but the point is, last night on two huge possessions, after he failed so miserably, back at Oracle, he became. No better than a decoy. I thought he was running from the basketball because the first one on the Steph drive play, he just went and stood in the far corner. And then on the second one on the Steph up court to Draymond that he butterfingered, Kevin Durant's just standing on the sideline at midcourt like, I'm out, man. Don't, don't, don't pass the ball to me. And you know what happened at the end of game four back at Oracle? He came up real small, did, did the seven-foot Kevin Durant. He should have pulled up from 20 feet and just shot it. Or he should have at least tried to drive because he's a deadly clutch free throw shooter. And instead, he weakly and lamely bounced past the basketball to a hobbled Clay Thompson as he's running the baseline away from the basket. Don't what say. are you doing? What are you doing? I am out. Kevin well, if you don't, can't. If, if you don't mind me asking, who is the best player on the planet? Well, it's not Latired. No, I can no, tell you no, that. No, 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 no. Huh? It's not Latired. I, I don't know who it is. You, don't know. you know what? On back to back nights, the two best players disqualified themselves. That's what I saw. I'm not sure. You know what? The best player is TBD, as in TBD. It ain't no TBD. Yeah, Everybody yeah. is universally no, regarded no, that no, the no. baddest man that can dribble a basketball on the planet Earth. Yeah is one LeBron James. Uh. And to your point, Kevin Durant was never the best player. No. So how could he be all of a sudden be? You can't unbe Did you what watch the finals last year? Skip, you keep saying Kevin Durant, he did average 35. But LeBron, you make it seem like LeBron James averaged 10. LeBron James Who averaged made all 30, the big shots in that 33, series? 33, 10, and 12. Do you remember the shot of shots right in LeBron's grill? First of all, Kevin Durant was never the best player on the planet because LeBron James has two games in which he has more assists in those games than Kevin Durant has in this series. Mm. LeBron James, and everybody said, oh, Kevin Durant is a better scorer. 
But if you look at their career scoring averages, LeBron James is higher, 27.2 mm -hmm. to 27.1. LeBron beats him in rebounds. LeBron beats him in assists. So How many scoring titles whoa, does LeBron whoa, 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 have? Well, I want to know if he's the best player on the planet. So, Michael had 10. So it's all about scoring? Yeah, that's a, that's a big qualifier. Bernard, Help me out. No, how many does he have? Bernard King. Alex, there are a lot of guys that's led yeah. the league in scoring that was never thought of as the best players in the NBA. Well, Michael Jordan did it 10 times to LeBron's one, and I think he was regarded as the best of all time. How many so, times did he lead it? And wait, Kevin Durant has led this league in scoring four times to LeBron's one. Just for the record, how many go ahead. How many times has Kevin Durant led his team in rebounding or assists? Well, like Michael, he's high in assists. See, he's a five-assist-a-game guy who, against the Rockets, is down to two assists. Whoa. Why is that? I, I don't know. Because he has become a high dribble ball stopper in the high post because they just give it to him and he starts dribbling because he's got nowhere to go. That's none of my business right now, Skip. I'm, I'm, I got my, a bigger fish to fry. I'm trying to figure out how can a man playing with the greatest shooter of all time, a two-time MVP, yeah. and Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, one of the greatest clutch shooters, I mean jump shooters in NBA history, and you have zero assists in two or five games, and then you have one assist in another game, when you got those guys, I... And you keep telling me, oh, he plays so much better deep. Jenny Skip Bell has been hammering in my head. If you didn't know better, you think Kevin Durant is seven foot tall, can sit in the chair and slide his feet like Alvin mm. Robertson. You know he was great. He got a triple. He got a quad. No, he I've told you he's a rim protector. Oh, oh, oh how about, okay, how about this here? He protecting the rim. In five games against the Rockets, he has one steal and two blocks. Mm -hmm. What are you protecting, Skip? Terrible. He's been terrible. No, wait, no, 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 wait who was fourth in the league in rebounds this year? Fourth? Who was fourth? behind three centers? No, no, no. Kevin you mean Durant? Block shots. You mean block shots? I'm block shots. Yes, yes. Block shots. Yes. Fourth. Really? Fourth? And he's tall. He's taller than all the guys other than Gobert. Mm -hmm. He's taller than Anthony Davis. He is. He's taller than every guy that on that list except Rudy Gobert. Okay, so he does what well, he should do. But where did he finish on his team in rebounding? He's not the most physical player. Okay, where did he finish in assists? Who's the who, who's the go-to guy on the Golden State Warriors? <laughs> Who did Draymond call in the parking lot after they blew a three-one lead to your team? Who did he call, according to you? That's your and Draymond got an Draymond sport. got an opportunity to call the guy because the guy that he called had blown a three-one lead to him. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Where did they do that at? Tell me what Draymond told him. You always tell the story. What he told him? Yeah. He, 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 I need, I need your help. I, I, I need I, your help. He, 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 Please come he, help us. Please Le save us. Uh, LeBron did it again. Yeah. He, he, he hit me and Steph and Clay over the head and took mm. that title. Mm. Okay, mm. Jordan. There you go. That's what That's he said. the guy. What? And they made him the first option. He became the alpha on this team. And in his first year, with the weight of the NBA world on his shoulders, because everybody wanted Kevin Durant to fail in the finals last year after he left Russell Westbrook high and dry. Yeah. What did he do? He, he right. rose right above the king, and he took the whole series over. <laughs> he was sensational yeah, in the Kevin, finals. I mean, think about this. He went and joined a team that had a two-time MVP already on it in his prime. He joined a team that had three all-NBA players on it and at you know the what? time. That two-time MVP, Steph Curry, willingly said, I will take a back seat because we need you. Did he join a team that had won 73 games, had a two-time league MVP, mm -hmm. and the only man to win that award unanimously? Sure, and what happened? He got his ring. Okay, yeah. but I'm just trying to figure out. You, you keep telling me that at, at no point in the, since he's been in the NBA mm -hmm. has Kevin Durant been better than LeBron. Not at any point. He was in five games of the finals. Skip. He was. He was on the better Everybody team. saw so it. Let me ask you a question. If you flip position, you put LeBron on the Warriors, you put KD on the Cavs. What? What's happening? Was Kevin Love on the Cavs last year? Really, Skip. Was Kyrie Irving Rich, on the Cavs? Really, Skip. Yeah, really Kyrie Irving. Like, really, really, so let me really. Ask you, so if you ask the general manager. Was who, Kyle Korver on the Cavs last year? Really, Skip. Skip. Is he? If Kyle Korver's the fourth best three-point shooter in NBA history. But you didn't want LeBron to pass. Let me wow. ask you a question. Let's just say for the sake of argument, they were to hold a draft right now, mm -hmm. and you can pick any point guard you want. Who's going first, Kyrie or Steph Curry, if the general manager's pick? Oh, that's a close call. If you, if you don't mind me asking, you have a draft right now. Who yeah. are they taking, Clay Thompson or Kyle Korver? You know what? Steph Curry has regularly come up small in the postseason. You know it, and I know it. A lot of GMs might go Kyrie on that All one. I know is he got two MVPs. Yep. And you know and I know Kevin Durant, and he's tremendous. Mm -hmm. He's a great scorer, one of the greatest that's ever played in the NBA. Yep. But at no point in time in his career, since he set foot in the NBA, has he been better than that guy? Mm. O'Bron James. Has. O'Bron James. He was last O'Bron James. You know what? 
starts to irritate me about Kevin Durant, I read one story after another about how he has now become the impresario of Bay Area Silicon Valley entrepreneurs. That he's got his hands in business upon business upon Let that investment. man get his horse alone. Okay, that's fine. But I'm wondering if he won his MVP in the finals and won his ring, and he finally said, you know what? I'm, I'm good. Good. No, he, he don't need this. Skip. Really? He's just not as good as LeBron, and that's oh, okay. Really? That's the GOAT. Oh. Either way, Durant is going to have to be mm. better. I mean, uh, he's got to I change. would say. Either and by way. the way, to your point, this ain't over yet. It's not over. Yeah. I if evaluate from night to night. I don't got to evaluate because mm. I already know. Well, we know what <laughs> you 12 time, first team, yeah. unanimous. Jenny put those glasses on, and they're all wine colored. Oh, right. oh, Jenny said, <laughs> I need me a pair of them things because I can see crystal clear. I like Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.